Hi everyone, it's Alan with Earth Glow. Welcome back to another new video. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how I make our best-selling farmer's market candle in these jars. And this was a blend, as you just saw, of Gardenia Tuberose by Candle Science and Amber Romance by Flaming Candle. They're absolutely amazing scents on their own, but together in this blend, you guys, there's a reason that this is a bestseller. So I'm using IGI 6006 for these and about 8% fragrance. I'm super, super excited to finally get these restocked. And I think I may put some on the website as well, even though I normally only sell certain scents like this one exclusive to the farmer's markets, just because I would like you guys to be able to have the option of trying a candle um, if you would like to. I'm actually still using my little um, pot for these. I need to get a DG Boil dedicated to 6006. I have one for my blend that I use with wax melts, but. So each of these pitchers has 50 ounces of wax. And like I said, I'm doing about 8% fragrance. So for each pitcher with 50 ounces of wax, there is gonna be about 4.5 ounces of fragrance. And all the details of this candle will be listed in the description box, um, but the exact fragrance blend I will be posting to Patreon, like the exact amounts that I use of each oil. I have had customers come from an hour away, no joke, for this candle, and that is what actually made me restock it because I was like, there was actually a customer at a market that drove from Grand Rapids, which is like a 50 minute drive, and I was out of stock um, for the second week in a row of this candle, and I felt so bad. But yeah, with 6006, I usually, it's a really easy wax to work with, besides the sinkholes, um, but I usually let these get to 180 to 190 in Fahrenheit um, with my stick thermometer, and that is gonna be the temperature that I will add the fragrance. So again, there's 50 ounces of wax in each pitcher and 4.5 ounces total of fragrance for about 8%. You're gonna get a really good throw with 6,006 and 8% with a lot of different scents. I'm just gonna be stirring these guys for about a minute. Most people say you can stir even less, but I tend to like to go for a solid minute just to make sure everything is fully incorporated. And then I'm gonna be using these wonderful piston funnels that I will have linked below, and they're also in my Amazon storefront. You guys, these are the biggest lifesaver if you are a candle maker and you use like the black matte jars or doing wax melts. Anything where it's gonna be a little tricky to pour and you don't wanna spill. Concrete is another thing where I just love, love, love these piston funnels because you can ruin your vessel so easily. And these will really just, I don't want to say save you, but pretty darn close. The wick for these candles is a 0.02 series, 0.5 inch single ply crackling booster. And I actually started out with, um, I'm sorry, not a booster, a single ply wick. I actually started out with the crackling boosters and I ended up removing the booster just because this wax, um, you really don't need it. It actually performs better, I've found, just with a single ply. Um, but you can just straight out purchase the single ply wicks as well. And for these jars, um, you can get them at Candle Science. Uh, these lighter colored ones I do get from Alibaba, however, um, you guys have seen some of my past videos on that. I really wouldn't recommend it. Um, I would say if you want a reliable supplier for these, get them from Candle Science. What I like to do is just kind of initially go through and fill them most of the way. Um, and then I will double check them later to see that they're all around the same amount once I kind of get that initial pour. And I do like to keep a paper towel on standby just because when you stop the piston funnel, it can drip like once or twice and it just helps to minimize any spilling. Um, and I like the blue paper towels. Uh, I don't think I'm using them in this, but if you guys know what I'm talking about, <laughs> the ones you use for your car sometimes to detail it. But yeah, I sell this candle as evening in celery flats, 
And like I said, you guys, there are people who go crazy for this candle. It throws like a dream. Like one of these three inch diameter candles will easily fill a medium to large sized room. No joke. You can even put it in an open um, space. So Celery Flats is actually a historic area in Kalamazoo, the town where I live. And this whole collection is inspired by Kalamazoo, the one that I sell locally at the farmer's markets. This candle, I wanted it to evoke just the feeling of walking on the trail leading to Celery Flats and just that beautiful like, like evening wildflower nectary air. Um, you saw just a second ago there me poking relief holes um, in these candles. So that way uh, as the wax hardens, they will uh, not form as many sinkholes. So this is my new studio, you guys. I am so excited. I remember talking about how the floor was out for so long um, because we had some issues with it, but it is all repaired now and I am so thrilled with how this turned out. Let me know what you guys think. I needed something that was durable, but also just really stylish because this is where I work most of the day. And then this is where some of my shipping stuff is. Oh my goodness, I'm so thrilled with how this turned out, you guys. Um, but yeah, if you did enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. I'm sending all of you peace, love, and light, and I'm wishing all of you happy candle making. And once again, these candles, um, the Woodwicks will be listed on my Patreon. These are some of our other farmer's market tins as well that I needed to get restocked. Anyways, Peace, love, and light to all of you. I would like to take the time to thank my patrons for their incredible support. A massive shout out goes to Wendy, Nicole Rott, Nancy with All About Me Beauty Bar, Merle, Brad with Neon City Scents, Michelle, Paula, Zahara with Crystalline Candle Co., Julie with Belux Candle Co., Jennifer with Bea Essentials, Selena with Bambury Street Creations, Andrea, Sue, Nick, Bruce, Emma, Flavia, Jennifer with Bittersweet Candle Co., Danielle, Anitra with Ninth and Maxwell, Matthew, Jindy, Lisa, Elizabeth, Tammy, Carol, Cheryl with Soaps by Cheryl, Maya, Losa, Betty, Luzdari, Taichi, John with Past Sense Candles, Angela, Amber, Bluegrass Bath and Candle Co., Marketer, Allie, Carla, Todd with Cold Creek Candle Co., Krista, SS, Karen with River Birch Soaps, Kina with Kijoli, Angela, Amanda, Denise with Grumblegeist Candle Co., She's More, Cindy, Kim, Teresa, Frida, Shiromi, J Creative P, Colette, Nicole, Stella, Leanne, Martha, Angela, Jamie, Chadwick, Z, Mabel, Arev, Bobby, Jamie, Brian, Amy, Julia, Stephanie, Honey, Janet, Terry, Maria, Carla, Lo, Genevieve, Gracie, Yolanda, Tonya, Susan, Irene, Rolanda with Mason Marzette, Megan, Melissa, Ursulette with Ursulette's Beauty Secrets, Danny with Halos, Kelly, TCM with Ava Brysko, Lois, Terry with Maddie Rose Market, Tia, Victoria with The Sacred Prayer, Valerie, Stacy with Firewick with Me, Jenna with Sebastopol Botanicals, Belinda, Rhonda, and Smondar. Your support is deeply appreciated.